Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll learn the basic things we need to know about Arduino. So let's get started. At the very first, I want to introduce there are several types of boards available in the market. And basically when we get started with Arduino, we start with Arduino Uno. This is the most popular board and it's also cheap. Let me show you from their official website what are the different boards they are currently selling on the market. If you go to the arduino.cc website, in the hardware section, they have mentioned the boards and modules they have circulated in the marketplace. Like they have mentioned here, they have released over 100 hardware products including bolt, shells, carriers, kits and other accessories. So here are some a picture of the Nano family store page where they have different boards Arduino Nano series. The latest one is Arduino Nano 33 IoT, so it enables IoT communication. They have other boards also. Then they have MKR series where they have a Wi Fi enabled microcontroller and sub basic microcontrollers also, like Arduino MKR0. They have circulated some shields. The classic family includes Arduino Uno, R4 version, R3 version, Arduino Leonardo, Arduino Marco, Arduino Zero, and so on. The Arduino Uno R3 is the most popular one, and it's always available in the stores. You can try your project with this one. Then comes the Arduino Mega family. So if you have any project that needs a lot of pins for digital inputs, digital outputs or analog input outputs, then this is the boards you should be looking for. Like Arduino Mega 2560, this is the popular one for a bigger project. So here you can get an idea of what the boards they are working on currently and what is the trend in the market. So let's go back to the slide. Now we'll have some idea of Arduino Uno. What are the different pins of Arduino Uno and what are the functionalities of these pins? So the first one, let's see when we take this board in hand, there's a USB socket at the top of the board. So this socket is used for powering the Arduino as well as connecting the Arduino boards with your uh, desktop or laptop. This also uh, enables uploading program to the boards and communication, real-time communication of the Arduino boards with your PC. So this is the USB socket. We have power jack here. It You can use an adapter for powering the board and this power jack can handle 11 to 12 volts. Then we have reset pin. So this reset pin is used for resetting any program when it is live. Here we have some pins associated with powering, like we have V in. Here's the V in pin. So it's basically for powering the Arduino board using this female pin. So here you can input 7 to 12 volts. Then it has 5 volt output pin and 3.3 volt output pin. These are regulated output pins. From here you can power up your external circuits. Then we have ground pins. Here we have two ground pins and on the right hand side in the top portion of the rail we have another ground pin. So in the external circuit you, you may need multiple ground pins. You can connect them in any of this if you need them. Then we have this right side rail 0 to 13 pins and these all are digital pins. So this could be used for digital input or digital output. Then we have some pins from the digital pins like 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11. These pins, they have some sinusoidal sign in front of them. This means or indicates PWM. So these pins are used for PWM pins. They can provide analog output using these pins. Then we have A0 to A5. These are analog input pins. 
they can also be used for digital input then we have 80 mega 328p u mcu chip so this is basically a microcontroller chip from atmel family and the model is 80 mega 328p then we have icsp header so these pins are basically used for serial programming in the arduino board using serial programmer then we have another pin here arf that is used for external reference for analog inputs we have a crystal oscillator here that is a 16 megahertz crystal oscillator other than this we have regulated power ic here 7805 we have uh, some LEDs, onboard LEDs, like here we have a power LED. When the board gets powered, this LED lit up. Then we have TXRX pins connected with these LEDs. So TX is for signal transmission and RX is for signal reception. Whenever there is activity with TX and RX, this LED blinks. Then we have another LED. This LED, this is connected with uh, 13 number pin. So if you want to do board testing, you can use this LED for uh, digital output with 13 pin. So these are the components that are related with this Arduino Uno. I think you have a basic idea about the board and the pins and the pins layout. So I will we'll talk more on these boards, how they work, how to program them in the upcoming videos in this uh, tutorial series. So thank you for now. See you in the next video.